Hi guys, so I did something kind of crazy and I'm kind of regretting it now. I cut my hair and yeah, it's so short. What did I do? No, I'm just kidding. I didn't cut my hair. This is a wig. Um, this wig is from wowafrican.com. Um, in the past, I reviewed their Brazilian, Virgin Brazilian clip-in hair extensions. This is a Virgin Brazilian wig and this is the Rihanna Bob. Uh, lace wig. This is actually a lace front wig. So if you've seen my hair care routine, you know my natural hair is pretty long So I don't really necessarily need a wig, but this is just for fun um, It's kind of fun to change it up a little bit without actually having to do anything to your natural hair Since my hair is very long It's kind of fun to have a short style like this every now and then if I want to just put it on for fun So the wig did not come exactly like this. It actually came to me in the color one which is a jet jet black and I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this video, but I dyed it like a, um, a deep burgundy color. And this isn't what I was originally going to do with it. I originally had requested the wig in a natural color just to match my natural hair. Um, but they weren't able to send me that color because that color wasn't in stock. So they sent it to me in the color one. Um, so if you order this wig and you order the stock color, it's going to come in a number one, which is a jet jet black. So that's what I received. So since you're not really able to see the true color of this wig, I will insert some pictures so you can get a little bit better of a view of how that looks. So before I could deposit any color onto the wig, I did have to lift it and this wig was actually very resistant to um, the hair bleach. I actually had to do it two times. And what I used was the Kaleida Colors um, bleach and I used the 30 volume developer. Actually, the first time I did it, I used a 20 volume developer, but it didn't really react to that. So I did it again and I used the 30. It still didn't lift a lot the second time, but it lifted enough to where I could deposit this color onto it and it show up. Um, so yeah. Um, it also lifted a little bit unevenly, like the back part is a little bit lighter than the front part of it, but I think it's it's kind of cool. It just looks multi-dimensional, like, um, kind of like highlights, so that's fine with me, the way that it lifted. Actually, my friend was helping me with the process, and midway we were kind of scared that this wasn't going to work out, but um, it, it came back to life. It was dead for a little second, but it did come back to life. So after I bleached it, I colored it with this color Brilliance Ion. Um, the color is medium intense red. And I used three boxes of these and I got this from Sally as well as the bleach that I showed you previously. And I mixed this with a 20 volume uh, developer. I was really, really impressed with how this wig took all the dyeing and the processing because I colored it two times and I dyed it within one day and it still came back to life and it kept its shine and it didn't break off it didn't I had no shedding with this wig or anything like that and I also did customize it a little bit more because I cut the wig um, especially in the back I kind of put more of a layered effect to it because it was a little bit longer and it had more of a, a blunt cut and it had some longer pieces underneath um, so yeah at first I was actually kind of scared that I wouldn't be able to get all my hair up under this wig but my best friend Kayla helped me out. She saved me. Um, what she did is she just braided my hair straight back and then she kind of just um, took the ends of it and just wrapped it around and like pinned it. And she kept doing that until all the hair was on top of my head and it was as flat as it possibly could be. And then I also put two wig caps on top of that just to kind of keep it in even more. So yeah, I know I'm probably gonna get a little bit of criticism for wearing a wig, but honestly, it's all just in good fun. It's kind of fun to change up your hairstyle every now and then. And just like you would do your makeup and try on different types of makeup and stuff like that, it's the same thing. So, so yeah, it's definitely not an everyday thing, but it's kind of fun to throw it on every now and then just to kind of mix it up and try something different. So, so even though it did take a lot of work to get my hair to the desired color, I do recommend the wig. What I recommend doing is if you plan on coloring the hair at all, definitely don't get the number one. I would get maybe like the natural color. Um, if you plan on coloring it. It does take, I think, an extra 30 days if you want to get it in any customized color. So yeah. So just be advised, if you do get the number one, it is going to be kind of a process to, to get it colored and get it where you want it to be. So. so overall, my review of the wig is pretty positive. The only minor negative thing that I can say is the wig did have quite a few flyaways at the top. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see it now because most of it is contained because I flat ironed it quite a few times to get the hair to lay down and I also hair sprayed it and I just kept flattening it so most of them are contained now but yeah there was quite a few at the top there and it, it came like that it wasn't after I colored it or anything like that so I don't know if it was just the wig that I received had that or if, if that's something that would be common throughout the wigs but um, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, like I said, you can you can definitely flatten it down and get it down to where you want it to be. Oh, and the other thing is when I opened my box, I saw this other cute surprise in there. Um, they actually sent me these cute earrings as well. I really like them. It's kind of like a tribal feel to it and it has like that citron, is that what they call it? Like that citron color, that bright yellow. So these are really, really cute. These are my style. I'll probably wear these with like um, an updo. I think it would be really cute. So yeah, I didn't know that, but Wild African also sells um, jewelry on their website. So if you're interested in these earrings, I'll go ahead and put the link down below to these particular earrings. And of course, I'll put the link down below to this wig as well. And I didn't even show you guys the sides or the back of it, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Hi guys, so I didn't mention this in the video, but I did have the same exact haircut in 2007. I was trying to find a good picture, but this is the only one I could find. Um, so this is actually after my hair had grown out a little and it was not a good hair day for me. It was kind of flat, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to mention something else. I posted a video on my Instagram of me wearing this wig with the caption, new hair. And I received about two dozen comments of people saying things like, no, why did you cut your hair? And oh my God, you cut your hair, why? And I appreciated everyone's comments because you know they were basically saying that they had admired my long hair. But I just wanted to make a point that it's just hair, it grows back, and you are not your hair, I am not my hair, and if all of my hair were to fall out tomorrow, I would be okay and I would own it. Um, so whether you have long hair, short hair, no hair, you all are beautiful and yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.